Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Matthew Hansen. I'm the Director of Otology and Neurotology here at Downstate University Hospital. And I've been here since 2005. Um, my my uh, selection of my specialty is based on a strong family history of deafness and hearing loss. So I've been involved with the cochlear implant and with deafness in my entire life. The cochlear implant is uh, what I believe the best uh, medical advancement of the 20th century. We are actually able to replace a sensation uh, using an electronic device by directly stimulating the neurons that are uh, not being stimulated by the patient's own natural hearing mechanism. So we do it in, in only those patients that have failed any uh, improvement with hearing aids. Uh, initially, when we started doing cochlear implants, uh, the patients had to be deaf. But uh, it's rare that we're actually implanting somebody that's been deaf for a long time. They do so much better even with a severe hearing loss. The cochlear implant actually has two components to it. It has the component that is implanted inside, and it looks something like this. It's uh, coated in silastic, so it's biocompatible. It's very, very thin, and so it fits right over the skull. And this is implanted behind the ear up here. We do a very small incision to, to make that implant, and it's about a two-hour surgery that the patient's able to go home the same day. About two weeks later, we get them a uh, uh, initial stimulation and that's for with the external part of the implant. This has a device that looks like a hearing aid but it has this little disc on it. That disc is the antenna that talks to the implanted portion. There's a magnet in there just like there's a magnet in the implant and so those two magnets line up and it allows the stimulation of the implant through the skin. Um, all of the uh, replaceable and programmable parts of the implant are right here. This uh, has the processor, the memory, it has a re rechargeable battery, there's a microphone, and uh, all of this is in this package. The, uh, so when there's upgrades and when there's new devices and new uh, programming strategies and such, they can use that. We also have a uh, version that contains all of it in one little package called the Canzo. And this looks something like that. It just sticks on the side of the head. And it, it's very simple, uh, so it doesn't uh, have that over the ear part. Uh, this little demonstration set kit that we have from the company also has the uh, swimming cover. So children can actually go swimming with their implant on. The uh, process of, of uh, uh, putting in a cochlear implant is a process that is multidisciplinary in every, in every way. Uh, it involves an evaluation of their medical suitability. We have to do a uh, scan, either an MRI scan or a CT scan, to make certain that their inner ear anatomy is uh, adequate for the implant. And uh, we have a full audiologic evaluation. When it comes to uh, uh, children, uh, that also includes an educational evaluation so that they can be uh, 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 see what their educational status and see if there are any other uh, issues that we need to address.